ShireSociety.com. So, Keene State College becomes the epicenter, apparently, of yet another riot. Here are some observations about the situation that you might not hear elsewhere. My first reaction, in fairness to the police, when I saw some of this stuff on the TV, was, okay, maybe they got a bum deal a while back from the Colbert, from the, from the Colbert report. Uh, Col- Colbert, Stephen Colbert, made so much fun of the, of the Keene authorities when they said that they needed a bear cat possibly for their pumpkin festival, because it might be a terrorist target. I thought, well, okay, so now the pumpkin festival has proven to be something that's not all that safe, or at least something which could arguably be said to require a police presence. But then my second thought kicked in, and that was this. Why is it that there haven't really ever been any serious problems, no large-scale problems, at the pumpkin fest, until the city got a bear cat. And started doing stuff like this. It's bad enough that they were arresting people for smoking marijuana, but while this was going on, or immediately afterward, they arrested a guy for just standing in City Hall. A middle-aged guy. He's dead now. Not killed by his jail experience, fortunately. But the keen as North, uh, the keen as North, uh, no, let me rephrase that. The keen as New Hampshire's North Korea experience lives on. And you paid for it. You paid for both sides. You have to pay the keen police department, but you also have to underwrite the keen cancer known as keen state college. The place that teaches mostly socialism, bans people from coming on its property, its property, which is your property, because they hand out flyers, but welcomes with open arms mass murderers like this guy. I think we should now upgrade the status of the place from cancer to bleeding cavernous sore. But in all the hand-wringing, soul-searching meetings that are about to happen in city council events, and phone calls to KBK, you're probably not going to hear anyone bring this up, that the Keene State College should no longer receive any tax dollars. Instead, everyone's going to be about, or almost everyone's going to be about, some new way they can arm wrestle themselves, some new way they can spend more money on this problem that they funded. The solution of just not funding the source of the problem I'm not even sure that's going to cross people's minds. Tell you what, though, these are moments when places like Free Keen really shine, when you've got an actual, robust, independent media outlet with lots of different people sort of spontaneously working for it. I knew before I opened up my internet uh, this morning that I would get all kinds of great coverage from Free Keen, which would probably be a little bit biased, and uh, that this would help to buttress the coverage that was coming from the mainstream press. The article I read, it, the Keen Sentinel, I read it all the way through, but I knew it would be missing important things because of their pro-government bias. One of the students, or one of the young people who was interviewed in the mainstream press said, you know, uh, I guess it was, he was interviewed by a Boston outlet, and he said, the police want us to do this. They're part of the problem. And yeah, and I didn't even get around to mentioning the fact, again, uh, they had snipers at Pumpkin Festival last year. They had snipers again this year. I don't know for sure that the snipers and the Bearcat lent, lent themselves to a, uh, you know, created a more hostile environment for the crowd, but I, f- I would feel like it was more hostile if I were there an anti-aggression activist with pro-aggression snipers and a pro-aggression tank type vehicle in the area I would feel a little a little less safe although the snipers and the vehicle probably would not open fire with deadly rounds and a person who's just standing there and they probably wouldn't do it on purpose they are both pro-aggression in the sense that they both operate off of 
stolen property, property stolen from those same uh, bystanders through taxation. So these are just initial thoughts. I'm sure there's some stuff that I'm missing. But if Keene wanted, you know, if the government of Keene wanted to have riots in the streets, they could probably accomplish that without having a single police department or a single police officer, I should say, let alone a set of snipers and a bearcat that apparently were not able to prevent a mass casualty event or at least a mass, a mass casualty alert. The old world is collapsing and it's going to take its slave driver governments with it. But what will rise up in their place? In New Hampshire, the Shire Society has a plan, a thriving web forum, and a history of action. He didn't take long to come up with a plan. You can sign up right now at shiresociety.com.